Let's talk about power. In this video, I want to explain to you something that I found out purely by accident. You are more powerful than you'll ever know. Seriously. I know you might be in a bad situation. You may not have enough money to do what you want to do. And you're looking at all these people who supposedly have. That's the problem. You're looking externally instead of internally. When I started on this journey 10 years ago, it was simply to write a book. That's what I wanted to do. I wasn't focused on starting a YouTube channel. I wasn't focused on building courses or even making a name for myself. I just wanted to write a book. I focused on what I wanted to do. I didn't focus on what other people wanted me to do. I didn't focus on what other people thought of me. And with that, let's talk about the haters or the dissenters or the people who leave mean comments or the people who are just perpetually unhappy and they want you to join them. I want you to ask yourself this question. Why would someone take precious time out of their day to leave a five paragraph dissent that is edited on your YouTube page, on your Facebook. Why would someone do that? There is something that is going on with that person. I used to do that because I used to get so upset that people just didn't get it. And I realized something, the messenger is super important. I don't care what I say. I don't care how I say it. If I am not, a messenger that you want to assume that message from, hear that message from, or to gain that knowledge. I don't care what I do. It doesn't matter. You're not going to listen to me. You're not going to pay any attention to me because I am not the messenger for you. I am seeing concepts all over YouTube, Facebook, talking about things that I've talked about years ago. And I was like, I've talked about this. I have talked about it several times of saving 50% of my income. At the point that was somebody wasn't that trendy. Now it's like the thing to do, which is good, sound, practical money management. And I begin to understand you can't worry about if you're not their messenger. It makes no sense. You have to worry about the folks who ride with you. There was this old saying when I was a kid, no matter what you do, some people will love you. Some people will hate you. Doesn't matter. It just simply doesn't matter. And that's why I've made many changes. And that's why I'm telling you this message, because right now, there's some of you who want to start something. You want to do a podcast. You want to do a Facebook group. You want to write a book. You want to do a YouTube channel. And because you know that someone's going to say something jacked up, you know it's coming. That keeps you from getting started. That is a shame. That is a travesty because you are more powerful than you'll ever know because you won't take action. I want you to really understand what is going on here. Part of this journey, part of developing yourself, part of getting money is a process of self-discovery. There are some of you who right now, if you had taken action five, seven, eight years ago, you would be a millionaire today. I want that to marinate. I want that to resonate in your brain because there's so many of you who refuse to take action. If I talk to a hundred people, I would feel that 10 would take action, which is pretty good because normally it's only two to 3%. So I feel that my take action crew is much higher than that. But that's the reality. And people are afraid of what someone they don't know, someone they don't like, someone they don't even know what they look like from stopping them from moving forward. This is how I found out how powerful I was. It was around 2012, things were going lovely and there were not one, not two, not three, but a collection of YouTubers who could not keep my name out of their mouths. Some of them were what I call the friendly spy. Some were called just outright haters. There was one guy who actually did a video talking about me being ill. I got so upset and I was like, you know what? Let's attack them another way. And what I did was I became more successful. I worked harder. I got people's channels deleted. I sued people. I went after people harder than they were coming for me. And this is one of the lessons. I'm not going to give you any of that namby pamby stuff. Sticks and stones may hurt my butt. No, no, this is real business. The haters today online can disrupt and disturb your business. You have to handle them. You can delete their comments. You can block them. 
that's what you need to do. There are many people who feel that it's somewhat honorable to be beat up by on strangers. Like, hey, it's just on the internet, don't worry about it. The internet is more real than you know. And in that process of getting channels deleted, something happened. They would make hangouts about me, then they would hide them because I became that dude. It's like, look, yeah, you know, I think he's a scam artist. I think he's this, but you know what? They ain't calling him and I ain't trying to get my YouTube channel deleted because he will come after me. See, I became like Debo. Here come Debo, here come Debo. Everybody got quiet. They would talk around my name. They would never mention my name. They were like, well, I can't say his name because he'll, he'll get my channel deleted or he'll get my video flagged. My haters became a crew of scared little bitches. They were so big and bad on the internet, but in real life, they weren't that big, they weren't that bad. And see, that's why you don't know how powerful you are because you don't take these shots. You don't stand up for yourself. You don't do what you need to do. Another story. I had a situation with a female, many of you know it, and I got my child support case dismissed. And it's very interesting how when you put your mind to a serious pursuit, you can get results. I didn't care. I was fearless. I was reckless. I was like, I was talking all types of smackety smack to these judges and magistrates. It's like, well, I'm going to sue. Well, no, I can't sue in the 10th district because they don't let you represent yourself pro se. Pause. It's like, oh, he's for real. And that's what you got to be. For you to be as powerful as you can be, you need to be for real. None of this faking stuff, none of this half stepping stuff, you need to be for real. And I'm gonna tell you something, the first few times you're going to fail. You're gonna have unsuccessful attempts. You're gonna have bricks up on the, the goal. You're gonna miss that punt. You, you're going to fail. You pick yourself up and you do it again. And then you fail and you pick yourself up and do it again. And then one day you realize, failure doesn't kill you. Failure doesn't take any money out of your pocket. I, I will believe it. The more you fail, the more money you make. It's just many of y'all haven't had the hardy skin, the tough skin to deal with that. You got to get into your power. Power is like electricity. And what is electricity? It's current. And what is current? It is movement. You're not powerful sitting still. You are static. And you know what the natural order of the universe is? Those things that remain still come apart. You ever see a house that no one's lived in for a long time? It's literally caving in on itself. That will happen to you, your body, your soul, and your spirit. You must take action because that's where your power lies. This is one of the, this is one of the best pieces of advice I can give you. Find something that really disturbs you or find something that makes you happy. Both of them can make you rich. Yeti, came because they couldn't find a, a cooler that would withstand all their hijinks and annex. It became a almost a half a billion dollar company because they were disturbed because they couldn't find a cooler. Reach into your power. And once again, it, it's going to be action. It's not going to be sitting. It's not going to be reading. It's not going to be studying. It's not going to be asking a bunch of questions in the Facebook group. You must take your shots. You must be about action because that's how you're going to get into your power. That's how you're going to get into your abilities to facilitate and affect change because each one of us has power. Now, some people are going to disagree with me and some people will throw stones and have fun in the comments and all this because I'm just going to delete them and talk smack about you later. One of the things I can tell you is what you believe is what you become. This is where we get into the controversy. When I was in business, I forgot that I was black. And when I say that, there are people who will be triggered. There will be people who will unsubscribe from the channel because I had the audacity to say such nonsense to them. And I'm going to tell you something. If you're leading with your blackness and you don't have a power base of economics, you're going to lose. Simple facts, because I've been seeing all kinds of stuff and I'm not going to even talk about this yet. I may talk about it later. But if you want to facilitate change, you want to have power, you need some damn money. All of the rah-rah stuff is good. All of the, yeah, we're going to come together as a community. Yeah, we're going to do this. When it comes to dollar and cents, if there ain't no dollar, nothing's going to make sense. If there are no dollars, nothing's going to make sense. And there was this thing that was happening about immigrants and how they're different and how they're getting over and 
I'll get into that a little deeper in another channel. But the spirit of moving forward without all of this stupid baggage of things you can't change. You can only move forward. You can only write the future. You can only shape the future. You cannot fix the past. You can remember the past. You can celebrate the past. You can learn from the past, but you cannot fix it. You cannot get into a time machine and go back and start rearranging stuff. But what you can do is take action today. What you can do is get started on living your best life. Now, there are many people who feel that their best life is going to come at some other point in the future. It's going to just show up out of nowhere, right? Your best life is your life right now. As far as I know, we only have one. Make the best of it. Go out each day and try to do something with your life. Actually be about action. Meet people, talk to folks, network, sell stuff. You know, be about action because when you start getting into your power, and once again, the beginning is going to be rough. I, I should say that two or three times. The beginning is going to be rough, but you keep at it. You'll start to realize certain things. You'll start to see things. You'll start to know things that other people don't know because you've done your work. You will become more powerful each and every day. You'll be able to snap your fingers and make things happen. This is how you develop power. Because there's some people who are begging for power. There's some people who are hoping for power. There's some people who think the powerful should like break off a piece of power and just give it to them. It ain't gonna happen. Just let that foolish notion go. It, it's not going to happen. But what will happen is one day you'll be taking those L's. One day you'll be out there on the storage auction trail after having your ass handed to you a few times and you will say, I'm tired of this. And then you're gonna beat on your little chest. You're gonna pull your little nuts. You're gonna do whatever you need to do. And then you're gonna start roaring. And all of a sudden, people are going to be like, well, why is he acting like that all of a sudden? And they're going to try you. And you're going to roar back, and they're going to try you, and you're going to keep roaring and keep roaring. And one day, you're going to roar, and they're going to all fall down. They're going to be wondering, what happened? Who is this demon that has been unleashed upon us? Why is he like that? As one of my friends likes to say, there's no fun when a rabbit has a gun. So go out and get your economic gun. Because many people are going to be blindsided by the coming changes in the economy. We're living in a false economy right now. Many people who are doing well don't want to see it, don't care if it's bad for other people. They just don't. It's like, I'm good. I don't really care. And that's the attitude. That's going to cost them. Because if you're not working on solutions for everybody that you can help, because once again, just like I said, I cannot be your messenger if you don't like me. That's just the reality of it. But I'm not even worried about you if you don't like me. You don't matter. You don't count. But the people who do like me, that's who get the love. That's who get the cream. That's who gets to sit at the bar and we all toast each other's success. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the year, at the end of your life, you're going to look back and you're going to be happy at what you see or you're going to be full of regrets. I used to work in the hospital. I used to hear this stuff all of the time with people that were living this last final days and they were looking back and they weren't happy. So ask yourself, I'm 95 years old. I'm sitting on the porch and you want to look back across your life and see what you've accomplished. I can tell you from experience, I've made a lot of mistakes, but you know, the things that haunted me until I actually did them was the things I did not do, the things I did not attempt. And then I started doing them. Because that thing with writing, it haunted me for a decade. It's like, I want to write a book. Try to write a book, didn't have the skills. Second time, had some of the skills, didn't have the business acumen. The third time, boom. Because it haunted me. I would have not have been happy. I would have died being unfulfilled if I hadn't written that first book. It's just it is. And many of you are way more powerful than I am. You just don't know it yet because you ain't doing shit with your life. So... If you're still here, go below. There's some links to help you get your basic financial education, uh, investing yourself. We're kicking that off this month. And next month, we will get into income metamorphosis, how to develop consistent side income. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.